meaning that we know that we have a propensity to wander away. But God's love, like a retaining force, will hold us where we need to be. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. The great application of the gospel. Christ died for all. We who live, meaning those of us who have applied that death personally, should now have a new life, living no longer for ourselves, but for him that died for us and rose again. Matter of fact, that ramification is carried further when he went on to say in verse number 16 and 17, Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. So in other words, now that Christ has ascended to heaven, and although I saw him, Paul could say on the road to Damascus, although we are not seeing him, here's where we are seeing Jesus. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, verse 17, he is a new creature, old things have passed away, behold, all things 